Susan Zingali had been afraid of the dentist ever since she had a negative experience as a young girl. So how did this now 60-something grown-up woman end up in dentist Steve Marsh's office ready to open wide to change her smile? Let's hear it straight from the patient's mouth. Steve and Susan are both here today to share her turnaround tale. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thanks, Good Laurie. to see you again, and welcome to Susan. And I can't help but notice you brought a friend. Yes, I did. This is Julius. All right. What, what did Julius do with you? Julius came to the uh, office with me on every visit, sat in my chair with me, and brought my stress level down. Yeah, wow, well, a terrifying experience as a child would cause that to happen, huh? <laughs> Unfortunately, so, it did. <laughs> what made you want to change your smile? I did not like the way I looked. Um, I go to the gym, I work out, I have my hair done, but my teeth were terrible, just terrible. So it, it, time to change, huh? Absolutely, absolutely. Okay, oh, Steve, this is a before picture, is that correct? Yeah, and that's how uh, Susie came to me. And uh, she had had some work done a number of years ago, right, Susie? Yes. And they had done four crowns on the bottom that didn't really match very well. And over the years, and this happens with all of us as we mature, the teeth will change in shape and move around a little bit. Okay. Now, I understand you're in Florida for a good part of the year as well. So how did that work to coordinate appart appointments when you were not here oh, most of Dr. the time? Dr. Marshall's office was fabulous. They worked around my schedule. I was able to come in. Um, when I needed to, and they worked around my schedule. I take care of my dad, okay. so they took care of T took care that I got in when I needed to get in. Oh, that's very nice. <laughs> that's always helpful when you're trying to squeeze things around real life. So um, we saw the before picture, so she came in presenting certain problems to you. Then what did you do? Well, we sat down together, and I think it's interesting that she mentioned her father, because as many of the people who are viewers are caregivers, or maybe people who need help, and so we did try to work around that yeah, schedule. Yeah. So we sat down and found out what was important to her, and then we actually did a prototype, and I'll just hold it up for a minute. Mm -hmm. And you can see on uh, the viewer's left, you can see what she came in with, and we did this wax prototype because we wanted to show her, give her an idea of what we could accomplish. This is done in wax before we move forward. Okay. Uh, and we discussed what was important to her, and I thought what we could accomplish, and we have some pictures of her. Here's a, a full face pic picture, and I, again, Susie, thank you for allowing us to show that before. <laughs> uh, and she also had a, a fairly gummy, we call a gummy smile, so we actually used a laser to, to uh, work on the gums. Again, that's her before picture. You Close can up. see those crowns that didn't match. They were porcelain on metal. And today we use all porcelain, so you don't have that opaque look. Uh, and uh, it, also you can see the position of the teeth. We talked about colors. Susie said, listen, I'm going to do it. I want to do them bright and Absolutely. white. Might as well. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. And if you look, she also has beautiful lip formation. The lips are a frame, and that helped us. And you can see how much more even they looked, uh, Lori, at the gum level. Again, this is all porcelain, not only in the front, but in the back. So in the front, we did porcelain veneers. In the back, where she had had a lot of dental work, we did porcelain crowns, no metal at all. And it gave her that beautiful smile. And, and uh, there she is looking as pretty as ever with that. Uh, smile and <laughs> she was still able to take care of her father as well so it worked out in a very nice way I think All would you right. say so Susie absolutely yes yeah. so, so and you and Julius are now happy with very the results? happy very <laughs> happy I actually look in the mirror and like what I see <laughs> that's great there's Julius with a bib on <laughs> <laughs> It's he enjoys time office. too. Yeah. Wonderful <laughs> office. <laughs> All right. So don't let fear keep you from having the smile that you want. Thanks to Dr. Marsh and Julius, Susan is not afraid of the dentist anymore. And she's not afraid to show her smile. To find out more, give Steve a call. His number is coming up next. See what Dr. Stephen Marsh can do for your smile by calling 440-461-1003 or visit www.clevelandsmiles.com. Next, how to find a love connection.